Photographer Inga Morath lived one of the most incredible lives. She escaped Axis Germany during World War II. She spoke seven languages. She was one of the very first women to be granted membership in the famed photo collective Magnum. She saved one of the most highly decorated World War II veterans from drowning. And I don't usually mention spouses in these videos, but this is different because she had a working relationship of 40 years with her spouse, Arthur Miller, documenting his life and activities and he was able to do a lot of things because of her and because of her ability to speak languages and go to other countries and work there together. Okay, so let's jump back a little bit. After fleeing Germany, she ended up in London where she worked as an interpreter and a reporter. She met several members of the Magnum Photo Agency and they liked her and brought her on as a photo editor. And she had never taken pictures or picked up a camera, but she said after a couple years working as a photo editor with these amazing photographers, she already felt like she knew how to take great pictures. So she first started taking photos in 1951 and by 1955 she was a full photographer member of Magnum. Whoa! She later said her first assignments were the jobs that, quote, the big boys didn't want to take. But she ended up meeting some really important people like film director John Huston and became a favorite photographer of his and was often asked to document his sets. There's a famous story where she reluctantly admitted to Houston on the first time meeting him that she only had one roll of color film with her, so he sent out one of his assistants to buy multiple rolls of film for her, and that really began their lifelong friendship. Okay, so here's an incredible story. In 1959, she was hired by Houston to come to Mexico and photograph a movie that he was filming called The Unforgiven. During some time off, Houston was on a boat with one of the stars of the movie, Audie Murphy, who was a very highly decorated World War II veteran and they were duck hunting, and Morath was photographing them through a telephoto lens when she saw the boat capsize. She noticed that Murphy was stunned and dazed and seemed like he might be drowning, so she stripped down to her undergarments, dove in the water, and the story goes she pulled Murphy back to shore by her bra strap. You know, just another day for Inga Morath. The following year, Houston hired her to document another one of his movies, The Misfits. This time it was written by Arthur Miller, and that's where they met. And they were married for 40 years until her death in 2002. And this is why there's so many great photos of Arthur Miller around. Here he is with their daughter Rebecca, who would go on to have her own successful career in film. Okay, before I finish, I want to talk about this famous photo of hers of the llama. A lot of people think that this was just a candid moment, that she was standing in Times Square, and then she turned around and there was this llama there. But that is not true. She was actually doing a story for Life magazine about this animal trainer, and she did a lot of research and contact with the person, and she figured out the route that she was going to take with the llama, and she stood in the spot and waited for them to come by. The caption in Life magazine would have you believe that it was a serendipitous moment, but now you know the true story. And now you know Inga Morath.